Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Plans with Amanda. In this video, we're gonna be decorating a spread that I've never done on my channel before. I did switch to the monthly layout for my social media planner for this year. Last year, um, and before that, I actually used a dashboard layout and I never have done Plan With Me videos on that. Um, because I would decorate the pages, but they were just for me. I didn't do videos and Plan With Me's for them. Um, but anyway, this year I decided to move over to the monthly layout, which if you're familiar with that, or not familiar with that rather, you get the monthly spread, you get the dashboard, a monthly dashboard, and then the rest of the pages for the month are all these like checklists and you get like enough for each day of the month. And so for this video, we're gonna be decorating this spread and the monthly, and this is a happy planner. If you're new to planning, this is a happy planner. It's got the disc punches. And so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. I know one thing I wanna do for this spread, we're gonna be doing a National Sticker Day theme also, I should have said that, um, but National Sticker Day is on January the 13th, and so we're gonna be decorating that, um, using that as our, our idea for this month. So for this spread, I wanna use the Mambi Stips, excuse me, Mambi Sticks, and put I Heart stickers here. I think that would be really cute. And then just kind of decorate the rest of the outside of it or whatever. And then on this one, we're gonna also use a lot of these sticker books. I've pulled several sticker books to decorate. I've got Planner Babe, I Heart stickers, Miss Maker, Crafty Stick Babe, and I pulled Bright Type from, these are all Happy Planner. I pulled Bright Type because there's some, um, um, little stars and dots, confetti. I'm just trying to think of what it's called, like confetti stickers. They've got these, and then there's another set in here that's like got some gold mixed in, and I thought those were really cute, so we may pull those in. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go. We're gonna give it a shot and decorate our spread for the month. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the stickers I need from here for this, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I played around with these stickers just a little bit to try to make sure that they would fit on here. I think they're gonna fit with one of the small hearts that I found in the I Heart Stickers sticker book. There are, there's this little set here that's got like this red and pink theme and there's a heart stickers, or excuse me, heart stickers, I think that will work. And I can kind of just fit this I Heart in between there and I think that would be really cute. So we're gonna do that. I. I'm going to go ahead and stick these down, but before I do that, I'm going to tell you about this book really quickly. I got the idea to make this from Mojo's Mojo Jojo Plans. She does offer the printout, the black part that's cardboard. Well, not cardboard. It's printed on really thick cardstock, and then she got she has a tutorial on how to um, make these these books. And you just kind of buy the pieces that you need and you can put it all together. It's not super easy to do, it's time consuming, but I really like it and I love how it's combined. All, I can combine all of my Mambi sticks into a sticker book, basically. I've got one for letters and I've got one for decorative stickers. So um, I'll put a link down below to the tutorial that I used from Mojo Jojo Plans on how to make this sticker book. Okay, so the next thing we can do really quickly before I move on is we're going to go ahead and lay these stickers down. Actually, I need to white out the word notes. I was just looking to see if it could go anywhere else on the page before I get started. And honestly, it would be cute across the middle because I don't, I use this spread to write in what videos are posting on which day, but I still think I like it over here. So we're gonna stick with the original plan. I didn't come up with this idea. Um, I've put Mambi sticks here quite often over the last few years, but the I Heart stickers, I did see it on someone's Instagram. I can't remember whose Instagram it was, or I would have, I would mention that, but it was on there and that's where I saw the the idea, and so I kind of went with that. I thought it was a really cute idea. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the S down, just right here on the very edge, because I need to use, um, I need to put these as close together as I can get them without being too close together. Thank you. 
Okay, so what this has done by pushing it as far to that side as I could and move this eye over as I've got room in the middle between the two letters to put the heart. And I think that is just adorable. I can't wait to use this this month and have that in my planner. Um, all right, so that is the I Heart stickers from the Mamby Sticks. Mamby Sticks can be found several places, but the most um, the places that I got mine from were Joann's and the Happy Planner. Joann's has a big selection, actually. You just search the word Mamby on Joann's website, and they will come up, and they have a big selection. The Happy Planner doesn't make them anymore, and so their selection is very minimal. For whatever reason, they don't have as many in stock, but Joann's is where I get mine. Okay, let's keep going. Um, I don't have a rhyme or reason or to, as to what I'm going to use out of these sticker books, so I'm just going to go ahead and start putting some stickers down. I'm going to start with the Crafty Stick Babe because there's some back here that, are, um, that have stickers and there's little sticker books. put her down there. These two have their planners and the sticker book, but I'm going to try to find a bigger one. There we go. She's got a scrapbook, so we can use her. And we use our Cricut sometimes to make stickers. So let's use this one. Let's see, let's put this one up here. Actually, I'm gonna take this two with the, we'll put these two up here. And then I'm gonna move this one. Okay, I'm gonna move this page out of the way for now. It keeps getting kind of in my way. And then we're gonna shift these down here just a little bit. Okay, perfect, those are so cute. The other thing I want to do is from Planner Babe, I want to pull in some of the disc stickers. There's like a whole sheet of the little heart disc, heart shape cutout disc that we use to put our planners together with. Let's see what else is in there. Okay. I want to use some of these and just kind of put them all along the top. And I'll do kind of an arrangement to where there's some coming off the page. Okay, that's cute. I'm gonna look through the I Heart stickers as well, um, just to kind of fill in with some of these. I like the little planners. The little computers. Oh, look, that says I Heart stickers on it. <laughs> well, that is the name of the sticker book, so that makes sense. And he's got like little icon stickers here. We'll put some of those down. It's just really cute and simple. I'm not gonna do a whole much more to it. Here's an I Heart stickers um, sticker. Put that there. And I'm 
going to use some more of these for the next spread. So I think we're going to stop here for this one. It's simple, but really cute. And so let's go ahead and move on to the dashboard spread. I guess you call it a monthly dashboard. Um, so I don't really have a complete plan for this one. Like I said, I've never decorated this type of layout before. So I think what I want to start with is function. I actually haven't pulled boxes, but that's okay because these colors are also across the board anyway. Um, so actually I take that back. Let's go ahead and put down some decorative stickers so we can get us a color layout going and then we'll, um, we'll go from there. So, um, I really liked this set. I said, I just want all the stickers with all the cute little icons, planners and other things. But then there's some other sections, excuse me, other collections in this sticker book that are really cute. There's some cute quotes back here that kind of match the different ones. We've got stickers are my love language. I love that, but it's really pink and red. So it reminds me of Valentine's, which would be a cute Valentine's Day spread. Rolling with my favorite stickers. <laughs> that is adorable. What in the world? I love that. And there's some lightning bolts. We might have to do that. There's do more of what you love, like stickering. <laughs> I didn't realize it said that. Plants are friends and so are stickers. This is a really cute sticker book. This says let's stick together. It's got the cute flowers. And then this one with the, I just want all the stickers. And then this one has all these cute little um, shapes too. So I think, I think I'll just go with the, um, um, with these and then maybe like this one, the big one. Actually, I'm not going to put the big one down. I'm going to use these and I'm, because I want to use a, more than one and I feel like if I put that big one down, it's, I'm not going to have a bunch of room for other things. So the I Heart stickers is really cute. It's, so like I said, I don't really have a set layout for this spread. I'm just gonna kind of wing it for this month so I can kind of get a feel for how I wanna use this. And these stickers are so sticky. <laughs> All right, stickers are everything. I like the shape of this one, how it's kind of long. I can bring it down here, whoops. Okay. So many stickers, so little time. So I like how this has some black in it and this one's got black. So I could switch that because I really need that black up here. So let's do that. I might have to get the undo because these stickers are very sticky. Oh well, okay, that came up better than I thought it would. Okay, I like that. I still like the I Heart stickers, so maybe we could put it down here. Um, I'm gonna stop there with the quotes. So we've got these cute stickers here. I'm gonna hold those to the side. I'm gonna glance through Miss Maker really quickly because I felt like there was, like this one will work for stickers. Hmm, we don't have any gold yet, do we? We don't. Okay, we're gonna hold on to that one. And I think I've already looked through this and there wasn't very many in here that were just sticker specific about stickers and it was more like crafting. So I think maybe we won't use anything from this sticker book. Actually, we could pull some of these sticker book stickers out. Yeah, let's do those. And we'll use the craft cart. I'm gonna get the wax paper back out. So for the longest time, I was, I, I hoarded these stickers from this little Miss Maker sticker book because I, um, the original is 
like basically impossible to find and if you do find it they want a lot of money for it and I'm not I'm not willing to pay that much for a sticker book so when I found this I picked it up and I think I got it pretty cheap off of Amazon it was a year or two ago um, but since then I have found this sticker book on really really cheap clearance sale type thing at all of Ollie's Ollie's I'm not sure what else I think that's just the name of it it's kind of like a um, it's a store that sells like older products sometimes products that are close to expiring things like that as far as food goes anyway they had several of these accessory packs and miss maker was one of them so i was able to get me a couple of more so i'm able to kind of use these stickers freely now <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead and pull these two out as well because they're but they're on paper and that's okay all right so i've got that Let's run through Planner Bay but one more time. I don't think there was anything else I wanted to use from here. That's cute. We'll work for planner supplies. Okay, we've got these I Heart stickers down here. Um, I'm going to pull the one with the, the yellow heart because that yellow matches the yellow in that quote. So we're going to hold on to that one. Okay, that's planner, babe. And I don't think I'm going to pull any of the... Well, I take that back. I don't want to tell you a fib. I probably will pull some of these girls in. We've got more sticker books in here, but they're more of a doodly art kind of um, kind of art. So um, I'll probably not pull these. Have gold on them, but it's just a couple of little spots. I think we're good on that. Okay, how cute are these? Oh my goodness! All right, we'll grab one more of these too. I know we use these on the other spread, but that's okay. Okay, let's keep going got these and then the other thing I need to decide is if I'm pulling in the little confetti pieces from here I don't they don't match perfectly but honestly they're not they're close enough so maybe we could do something with this I'm gonna do another piece of wax paper just wanted to see how this is going to lay down if I just used it as a whole. Kind of like that would be good. I was really trying not to stick it all the way down without figuring out where I'm going to put it first. I can just trim it. Okay. So on this one, I'm going to just kind of cut it apart. And we'll put these down here. And we'll put this little curve section right there. 
Okay, I like that. I've got one more if I, if I decide to use it, but I'm gonna hold on to it for right now. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is boxes. So basically these colors are, like I said, they're all over the board, so we pretty much can use whatever colors we want. So what I'm gonna do is pull my Mojo Jojo Plans box set, the Ultimate Rainbow Bundle. The set is not available, but she does sell these sticker books individually. Um, there's several colors available on her site right now. So I'm gonna start with the pink. I'm not sure if the pink in here will work. Oh yeah, we can, we'll pick one of these. I think this lighter pink would look better. Um, let's go ahead and pull a couple of other colors though before we get going. On the blue, that would work. This one actually too. So I like that color. This is how I pick my stickers, you guys. So like when I go to pick box stickers, I'll just kind of, um, you know, pull them out and like just kind of keep, just keep checking colors until I find the ones I want. Yellow. So this yellow is really bright yellow. This is more of like a golden yellow. So we're gonna skip that. I might find a different yellow. Let's look at the green. And I'm just trying to make this really colorful. So I like this color green. Yeah, that color right there. We need something a little bit more, like this is pretty light. So it's gonna be more pastel looking. I'm not sure if I like that too much. I could use this color of pink. It's still not quite the right color though because you've kind of got an in-between. I don't know, it's actually, it, it works really uh, pretty good anyway. Probably need an orange. Okay, I think we've got enough boxes picked out for now. So I have also I've printed word stickers for this um, this spread um, because I am using this for social media, and so I've printed out different things that I know I want to use this for. We've got reels, Instagram stats, videos, YouTube posts, Instagram posts, Instagram YouTube comments, revenue. And then I've just got quite a few other words that I know I wanna be using. So like over here, I know I'm gonna use this for like checking off that I do these things each day or like what days I do them on. Maybe not every single day, but like this one, it's YouTube post. This one is um, Instagram post. And like I said, I'll just mark if I have a post that day on either or. And then the third one I'm gonna use for Instagram, YouTube comments. I really try to keep up with comments every day um, or at least reply to some every day, even if I don't get them all done. And so I've been getting a little bit behind throughout the holidays with replying back to my comments and I really like to, to do that. And so I need to make sure I'm checking it really regularly and this is gonna help me know how long it's been since I've checked those and made some replies. Um, on top priorities, I'm actually not gonna use it for that. We're gonna be putting the, um, my revenue over here is what I was planning on doing. So what I'm gonna do is take a box sticker. Let's do the blue. Actually this one in the front. I really like this blue too. I could use both because it's got both colors in there. Let's use the dark blue for this one. And I'm just gonna do some white out because I haven't really decided exactly how I want to do this. I don't really care about the one, two, three being there. And then top, pri oops, top priorities can come off. So, um, gonna raise this up for just a minute 
and then I'm going to um, white out top priorities and then use the box to cover up the white out. Let me see how that lays back down. Yeah, that's okay. Um, then in this box, we're gonna put the word revenue. And so this is where I will keep up with my revenue for the month for each category. And so what I thought I could do is maybe um, put the word stickers in this way. So like this box will be for YouTube. This box would be for affiliates. And then this box is gonna be for Amazon. And then, let's see, I'm trying to remember what else. <laughs> it's been a while since I printed these stickers. Um, the other thing I, I think what I wanna do here is I'm gonna use this to list out the videos that I'm gonna film for the month. So I need to do a box sticker here. So let's make this a, um, let's do an orange box sticker, but I'm gonna do like a medium sized box. And we're just gonna kind of layer it right here underneath the word everything. So really this section could be, I was gonna put reels here too, but that actually no, I just want videos right here. Um, what else? I want to maybe put a box sticker up here and this is where I could do my reels information. So I haven't been making reels as much as I want to. Um, and partly just because I'm, I'm just not very good at it. So I put it off. And so I need to really be focusing on that. I've got, um, a new phone mount that I think will help with my reels. The one I have now isn't really made for, it's more stationary and I don't want to have to like move it around a bunch. And so I got a different one for Christmas. I put it on my Christmas list. And so I'm going to use, um, use it to make reels. Hopefully it'll make it a little easier. So I'm sitting here debating on whether or not I want to, how I want to cut. I don't want that box to show. So I think what I want to do is put some stickers down and layer it like with this box maybe put this box closer to the line so before i do that i'm going to white out the circle because i can see through it and that bugs me So let's go kind of move down just a little bit over and I'm going to, I'm going to find some, then some stick, little, some stickers to fill in around that because I don't like how that looks at all. Okay, actually, I'm changing my mind. I'm not going to use the clear stickers because I can still see through them anyways. We got, we've got paper stickers over here we can use. So I'll just kind of layer these. I'm going to cut these apart. So 
So I'm gonna just continue to trim around these just a little bit and fill them in around this. So we're gonna bring this one over here because it's kind of cut anyway. Okay, I think I kind of like that. I do. I need a little bit of something else right there. We can just use maybe the I Heart stickers right above that. Let's move the rainbow. We'll use I Heart stickers right here, and that finishes the white out. And then I'll just put the little rainbow above it, so it kind of brings it up a little bit higher. Okay, that's not my favorite. <laughs> it works though. So let's go ahead and put the reels sticker here and then on these I just print them on my printer with Cricut Design Space I design them lay them out and then I print them on my printer and cut them on my Cricut I believe the font is Dear John from Cricut Design Space so I know sometimes people ask that what font it is and that's what it is all right so the next thing we want to do is I need a place for like new release information so we're going to do another box sticker up here I think maybe I'll do this um, actually I'm gonna do a couple of boxes we're gonna put one here and then I'll do a pink box with it if I have any I know I've used a lot of the this pink color yeah I've got some okay That's crooked. I knew as soon as I stuck it down. Okay, so new releases. I've got a sticker for that. Actually, I'll just use this box for that sticker and then put the information about the new releases in here. That might not be enough room, but we'll go with it this, this time and then we'll, um, we will, change it up next month. This right here I want to use for PR task and basically that's just anything that I need to do that has to do with my affiliates or any team if I'm on a, a PR team. So that's what that is. So I'm going to put that back down and then I'm going to use a box sticker. So let's do the orange maybe. I'm gonna cut the little star out so I don't have to waste it because right now it would be behind the sticker. And then we'll just move the little star over here next to it. Okay. So this was going to be PR task. Um, I got the idea of this layout from Kendra with a plan. I will link her down below. She is really fun to watch. I really enjoy her videos. And so um, she started using a monthly spread for social media last year. And as I watched a few of her videos, I thought that's really, really smart because it kind of puts everything in one place. Um, because what I was running into using the dashboard was that week to week, sometimes I wouldn't get certain things done. I'd have to rewrite it on the next week. And so I feel like this is gonna allow me to put all of the main things on one spread and then use those checklists throughout the month or daily of certain things I wanna get done on that day. And so I feel like this is gonna be a better solution. I hope it is. We're gonna give it a try for a few months and see how it goes, but I've got dashboard layouts that I could use if I wanna go back to a dashboard or I can mix it up some, so who knows. Um, but anyway, let's keep going. So let's put some boxes over here. Um, I think the other, we need some stat boxes. That's really what I need over here. So I'm gonna do 
I didn't get a blue box over here. Well, I could put one down here. I like to try to get all the colors kind of spread across, you know? So we're gonna use one of these over down here for um, notes, I think. Yeah, I've got one, I've got a sticker here for notes. And actually, I'm gonna move this over. I've got it, I don't like it being like that. I want it to be lined up with the one up here, kind of. So we'll put the word notes in here. And then we can put, we'll put some bullet points down here. So I don't really wanna put the bullet points where the stars are, or the confetti rather, so we're gonna move the confetti. Right there I think that works fine okay very cute so boxes for up here let's do a green yeah I guess a green box no let's do a pink box I have one more. Oh, well, I've got a lined and a not and a non. I'll use the lined one because I'll. I'd rather have them without the lines, and so I'll use the lined one for this spread. We'll put this right over here, and I'm gonna also need a box for. Um, Instagram stats, so I think I want to put that dark blue with it. We'll use one of these size here. So I'm gonna put this here, and then I'm gonna layer a green box with this one. Um, I'm gonna turn it this way and I think on so YouTube stats is gonna be the big box and that's just where I will put down the um, monthly stats so like how many followers or, or excuse me subscribers were added how many watch hours how many views that kind of thing and then I can kind of that gives me an idea of how I'm doing and then on Instagram stats I've got a sticker for that. We're gonna put that here. And then ideas, we're gonna use this box for ideas. And we'll just kind of turn that sideways or no. We'll put it down here in the bottom left. Okay, all right, so that works. The only thing I didn't get on here was my YouTube schedule and I really don't need that for this spread. That was something I used for my dashboard spread because it had the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, third, you know, the box up here with the days of the week. And so I would use that to write in what was gonna be posting on what day, but honestly, I don't really need that. So we're not gonna use the YouTube schedule sticker. All right, so now we get to finish with some fun stickers. So let's get the boxes put away and we can bring our stickers back in. So the, the cart, like I just, I think the cart is adorable. I feel like we need to use it. 
I don't know where. <laughs> now that I've put all. Oh, wait. I can put it right here. I don't need this whole row. And that helps to bring that pink in from those boxes a lot better, too. Do you guys have a craft cart? Um, I actually do. I use the um, Hudson cart from Michaels. It's the wide one. Um, I have this style too, but it's really small. And so I use it for something else, not in my craft area, but um, definitely love a good craft cart. So there, that is cute. Uh, let's see, I heart stickers. We've got a lot of quotes already on here, um, but I really liked this one because it has that yellow heart. How do we want to use this? So we have I heart stickers right here, so we don't really need that. As a matter of fact, let me trim this because it's kind of coming off the page just a little bit. So we're gonna hold on to this one just because I can save that for something else since I already have so many quotes on here. We'll put this girl down here since she's got her little cricket there. She's gonna make stickers. <laughs> Right, this is turning out to be a long video you guys um, it's probably well I mean it is two spreads technically but it's um, understandable because I've never done this and so yeah I'm trying to figure out do I want to how do I want to put I want something in these in this confetti okay I kind of like this one because it's got the yellow she's got the yellow shirt on it's got a little bit of a gold um, on that two we'll put here we'll put this one up here I'm going to trim the white off the bottom and then I think what I want to do with these sticker books is just kind of line them up or like kind of like up here and I'll just intermix the clear and the white stickers together Okay, I'm gonna move this one since they're both the same color. Put this one down like that. And then this one can kind of come off of that. Is that not cute? Okay, I just really, really like the spread. It's so fun. Um, the only other thing I feel like I want is something over here just to add some color. And I think the easiest way to do that is gonna be to use the I Heart stickers, um, the little, these little icons and I can add some more of those in the spread to kind of mix those um, so they're brought in more. We'll kind of put some, um, mix some in throughout this area. I didn't use the little planners. I feel like we need to use the planners. Put one right there. Got the I Heart stickers. Let's see, we used one of these. We used it right there. Put that there. I like these because they've got the little water bottles that has the stickers on them. So maybe we can put one of those down. Okay. Maybe we put a little smiley face up here. What else? We also have these little uh, the little sticker sheets that are in this that we used. Um, oh no, that's like a little sticker binder. Oh, we have the binder on the, or excuse me, the planner on this sticker. I didn't notice that. So what I'll do is I'm gonna raise this box up, 
kind of slide this in with that, kind of to break up those sections a little bit. And then the only other thing, I say that, but one of the only other things I wanna do is again, this area is very plain, so I feel like we need to add a little color here. Um, oh, we didn't use these. <laughs> there, there's so many stickers I wanted to use in this spread, so many. And I didn't, I didn't get a chance to, but that's okay. We can do another spread similar to this one day, maybe sometime. All right, we can do the little um, tiny stickers. We we'll use that to cover up that little bit of white out, and another little happy face. This page is coming out anyway, so let me let me just take it out. So we'll put that down there, and. I think that's gonna get it. Let's do one more little rainbow. We'll put it between here again to cover up some of that white out. Okay, you guys, I think we're done. I just absolutely love how the spread has turned out. I cannot wait to use it for my social media for this month. Uh, this, So we did this spread and then we also did our monthly spread with the Mambi sticks and Planner Babe and Crafty Stick Babe and some of the I Heart stickers. So I kind of used both, you know, all sticker books on all the spreads. So this was our monthly and our dashboard layout. So like I said, I really like how it's turned out. We used I Heart stickers from the Happy Planner along with some confetti from Bright Type, Crafty Stick Babe, Planner Babe, and the Miss Maker accessory book. And all of our boxes came from Mojo Jojo Plans. I do have a link for the Happy Planner down below. It is an affiliate link, so if you use that, I do earn a small commission. It doesn't charge you anything extra. So I'm grateful to you guys who use my links. Thank you so much. And thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you like this spread in this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more spreads like this on my channel. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye.